Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about how much Calades I'm going to buy. Uh, Calades has just some of the cars that have been spoiled. Now we have vehicles. Planes of Walker looks pretty good. And I'm just going to go ahead and tell you how much I'm going to buy. It's going to be a lot less than I normally buy of any set, mainly because there are more sets. And I'm trying to make a budget as to, you know, prevent um, spending too much money, which is actually a concern now that I have because all these new sets are coming out. I do want to buy Commander because I always like Commander and there's always unique new Commander cards that are kind of good. I like to buy, you know, Standard because I play Standard. Um, I like to do drafts, I like to do limited, and just a very in pre-release. I go to, you know, four different pre-releases and pre-release weekend. Uh, so I like that as well. So I'm going to spend the majority of my money in the top end of pre-release, meaning uh, whatever I spend a pre-release and then maybe a box. I'm probably going to buy one extra box, maybe two extra boxes, and that's about it. Uh, Calades looks amazing. I don't want to take anything away from the set. It's just that I've spent a lot of money on Eternal Masters and quite a bit of money on Conspiracy 2. So I don't want to spend any more. And Eldritch Moon, I, it's just mind boggling to me uh, from the vault. So I have them from the vault. And then you had, you know, you have all these other things coming out. The dual deck Nissa, dual deck versus Omnix list. Uh, you have various other side products coming. It's just, a absolute bloodbath of products that cost money and so instead of buying a case of Calades I typically always buy a case I open free boxes for the singles that I need and are to trade into what I need and then I keep free boxes sealed to play and draft at a later time I do also buy a few different cases of fat packs depending on if I like the set or not and if my friends want to play you know fat pack wars I'm a little taken back by how much money I've recently spent. That's why my Calades spending will be far less than uh, typical, uh, what I would typically spend, and that has a hundred percent to do with Eternal Masters, Conspiracy Two, Aldrich Moon, all being back to back to back. And honestly, we, you know, I was able to save some money because my store did not have the Aldrich Moon pre-release because there was. Whatever happened, the product wasn't there, etc., etc. So I wasn't, I didn't spend money on the um, on that, but I did buy fat packs, I did buy booster boxes, and I felt like it was a great set. I uh, Still have not pulled a lily from myself. <laughs> I pulled lilies for everyone else, and uh, for um, I guess one guy, one Patreon in particular. Overall, I'm just a little um, taken back by how much money has I've spent over the past two months in Magic. And I don't, and that's not including Magic Online, but I am buying coins, or I will be buying coins soon on Magic Duels or the Plane Walkers. Uh, maybe I'll make a recording of that. I know some people like uh, looking at the cards that I get. However, at the end of the day, only one box of Caldestum for me. Maybe a fat pack, uh, maybe six fat packs, just because I like fat packs for display and storage, and I think it's really cool. Actually, they probably changed. It's called something different now. But yeah, it's uh, very good. I mean, it's something that I have made a realization of is that I have overspent on Eternal Masters. I've overspent on Conspiracy because those are two formats that, you know, Legacy format, which is getting more support. It's, those are the two formats. I, it's not really, even Legacy. I call it Legacy EDH, which is actually just EDH with Legacy cards. So, I don't know, do you guys have the same problem as me? How much Calades are you gonna buy? Um, is it within your budget? Are you spending more money on Magic cards? Have you gone over and looked at your two month history of what you spent? Uh, if you don't mind, just post it what you spent right there. And is it too much, is it too little? It really does depend on how much you make. And if you're a high school student or a college student or if you have a full time job, uh, all those factors really are incredibly important factors. Anyway, bye guys.